there's a lot of conclusions that are drawn in the medical literature that are simply unwarranted. So if, for example, we have a look at the Sydney Diet Heart Study or the Minnesota Coronary Experiment, which were both from the late 60s, early 70s, they actually found that removing saturated fat from the diet and replacing it with polyunsaturated seed oils was actually deleterious to health. And yet for reasons only known to the investigators, and I think we can actually uh, paraphrase a little bit here because one of the investigators of one of these studies was actually asked before he died in an interview how they published the results. And the simple fact is they delayed publication significantly. And even when they originally published, I think the Minnesota Coronary Experiment was published 16 years later after the conclusion of the study, they didn't provide data on all-cause mortality. And the study investigator simply said, we didn't like the results we got, so we didn't publish. The Sydney Diet Heart Study, they never published the all-cause mortality data either. And the only reason we actually know the results of these studies today is because somebody went and dug out the results from old basements. They actually discovered them, decoded them, used a, you know, reinterpreted all the results according to uh, good scientific methodology and lo and behold we have the results. Large-scale randomized control trials show that eliminating saturated fat from the diet in place of polyunsaturated fats, that is reducing your saturated fats, actually increased mortality. And we would never know this. Um, This was good quality science that was destined to be lost to history. The Women's Health Initiative is another example, a little bit more surprising because it's in the modern era. They actually had a largest randomized control trial in the world, 700 million US dollars, and they had a, a group of females who went on a low saturated fat diet. And the only statistically significant finding from the whole study was a 26% increased risk of complications such as angina and heart attacks and so on and so forth. And given that that was the only finding of the whole study, you would think it would be front and center of the results, front and center of the conclusion, mentioned in every press conference. Well, strike out on all three accounts. It wasn't in the results table, it wasn't in the conclusion, it was never mentioned in any of the press conferences. It was written in obscure language on page 661 of the reporting journal. 